Hi friends, this is Aishwarya from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on Jobs and Careers. The topic that we are going to look today is Pipes and Cistern Part 2. So in the first part of the Pipes and Cistern, we dealt with the basic concept and some simple problems followed to it. In today's video, we'll be dealing about the two types of problems that you can commonly face in any aptitude exam. And we are going to tell you the easiest way to solve it instead of giving into a big procedure. So let's get started. So, this is the first concept. The type that you can face here is a pipe can fill the tank in X hours due to some leakage. It is filled in Y hours. Time taken by the leak to empty the tank. This is a very, very common type of problem that you will face in an aptitude exam. So the easiest formula to remember about that is XY divided by Y minus X hours. X is nothing but the number of hours taken by the pipe to fill the tank and Y is nothing but the number of hours taken to fill the tank with the leakage divided by y minus x hours. So let's solve a problem to understand this concept better. Okay, the question that they have given is there is a leak in the bottom of the tank. When the tank is repaired it would take 3.5 hours but now it takes half an hour longer. If tank is full how long it takes to fill the tank? So this is the type of question where you have to apply this formula. So let's get started. So first we have to find x. x is nothing but the time taken for generally for a pipe to fill the tank which is nothing but 3.5 hours. So we directly write it. So y is nothing but now how much time it takes. Now they have given half an hour longer than the original time. So original time is 3.5 plus half an hour longer. So 3.5 plus 0.5 equal to 4 hours. So we know x and now you know y. So we have to use it in the formula. xy by y minus x. So 3.5 into 4 divided by 4 minus 3.5. 14.0 divided by 4 minus 3.5 is 0.5. So 14 by 0.5 it can be rewritten as 140 by 5. So 5 twos are 8 are. So it takes 28 hours to fill the tank. Second concept that we are going to look today is 1 minus full tank time by second pipe time into first pipe time. So when we are going to use this formula? Let's solve a problem to understand the formula better. So the question that they have given is two pipes P and Q would fill a tank in 24 hours and 32 hours respectively. If both pipes are open together, find when the first pipe must be turned off so that the tank is filled in 16 hours. This is a very common type of problem. There is a very elaborate way of doing it. Instead of that, we are going to use a shortcut by using this formula to finish it in less than 10 seconds. First, we have to write the given data. What and all is needed? We need the full tank time, second pipe time and the first pipe time. So from the question, we know that first pipe time is nothing but 24 hours. Second pipe time is nothing but 32 hours and the overall time it takes is 16 hours. So full tank time is 16 hours. So net, let's now substitute it in the formula. So 1 minus full tank time is 16 divided by second pipe time is 32 into first pipe time is 24. So we know that goes by 2. So 1 minus 1 by 2 into 24 which is nothing but 1 by 2 into 24 it goes 12 times so 12 hours so the first pipe must be turned at 12 hours so that the tank is filled in 16 hours so there is an elaborate way to do it instead of that we are just using this formula to directly substitute whatever is given in the question to find the time at which the first tap has to be closed so in today's video, we discussed about the two main concepts. So if you know these two formulas, there are a lot of questions in a similar pattern they will ask you in the aptitude exam. It will be very easy for you to solve. So if you are a person who is looking for a job, kindly register in our freshersworld.com. Like this video, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.